Hello and welcome everyone to another episode. Wow, it has been a long time since I even started or even done a video for this unmodded, just regular sandbox series. It has been a very long time. And the one thing I've really been wanting to do and I got a little bit of talk about when it comes down to the unmodded series. It's just certain things here and there, but overall, I will say it's definitely been fun with the modded series. All right, well, the yeah, yes, the modded series has definitely been fun, and the construction and builds and just craziness. I just don't even know where to start. I really want to kind of get back to the unmod, or yeah, the unmodded series, and kind of start working on this again because we have been kind of neglecting it. At least I have been. I feel kind of bad about it because there's been still a few things that I've been wanting to do. Namely, is we've never really actually finished up with Duna. I mean, we did pretty much colonize Duna in the, you know, before I built the Minmus Mega Station and all that stuff, but the only thing that I really didn't do was uh, finish off our space station that we have. So, there is a few other things I'm going to be sending there, and I'm thinking we're going to kind of go back to the colonizing Duna thing again. We're going to kind of revisit it and kind of wrap up Duna as it is. Now the one thing I was wondering from you guys is that is there anything that you guys in specifics anything that you would really like me to see because I'm a little bit fresh out of ideas when it comes to the un unmodded series. As far as the modded series is concerned I do plan on doing a lot of other stuff and namely building some other kind of stations and stuff like that. I have a few ideas on stations I want to build and outposts and just all kinds of random crazy stuff that you guys normally know. All the really just absolutely insane stuff that I like to think of and just I end up concocting in my mind and then it sounds like a great idea and then all of a sudden I birth an amazing structure. At least I try to. And uh, you know for me a lot of this game it depends on your your just ideas and things that you you have ideas on what you want to do and just kind of getting to that goal and figuring out everything so the one thing I will say is that with the unmodded series I have just been having a real lack of inspiration on what I want to do next and if any of you guys have any ideas on what I should do next uh, the one thing I was thinking about doing is taking another sh ride around with the Jewel, Jewel 14 Explorer, throwing on another plane, maybe, maybe not throwing on another plane, I don't know, I was thinking of maybe we could do a Moho mission, or something along the lines of that, I don't even know if it'd be possible to do a Moho mission in, 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 with the Jewel Explorer, but we could definitely try. Now, this thing isn't staged correctly, which I'm just going to turn off my engines here. The staging got all screwed up. Let's see. Uh, yeah. We need this to go up here. And get rid of this. You know, I think we can just attach these two stages together. That really doesn't matter. And decouple. We'll turn this on and decouple. There we go. Go, 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 go. There we go. I, I was just a little unsure on what I did there. Um, building in the VAB, sometimes you just kind of forget. Yeah, that, that just kind of... That's one of those things. I, I think there's like a kind of like a Kerbal Space Program meme that's going around right now that's like, I don't always set up amazingly complex missions, but when I do, I always screw up the staging or something like that. And it's always the little minor details that you forget, but yeah, whatever. 
So, yeah, I mean, when it comes about down to the unmodded series, I mean, if you guys look, I mean, for those of you who are new on this channel, I mean, I basically have set up a Minmus base, a Minmus station, I believe there's a, yeah, well, no, we have the Minmus Mega Station, and then, you know, the satellite networks all around each one of these, even though they're not, like, 100% accurate. Uh, the one thing I was thinking about doing is also getting an ion, ion station back up again. I know that some of you guys were kind of like laughing about my ion station that I created a long time ago, but um, it was definitely helpful because it allowed me to basically refuel a lot of ion engines, especially on these mega ships. So that will be one of the major things that I think would be worth it. I think I ended up getting like a hundred thousand units of ion fuel. Uh, on in orbit and it was kind of worth having but I, I don't really know how much it was really worth having so let's see I was thinking we could put this stuff let's see what is this at that's about a 200 orbit um hmm. maybe we could put this a little bit further out somewhere around like three three hundred that's another thing too, is I ended up making a Kerbin Transport and I never really started work on that thing as well. And I think I might end up deleting it as it is because it just didn't really turn out the way I wanted it to. And it just didn't really look good. In, in At least in my, my vision, it just did not look very good. So probably what I'll end up doing is putting this thing at roughly about the same orbit as that and then I'm just gonna end up deleting that completely so but yeah I think I might end up making like a some kind of a transport vehicle at some point and changing it around but the one thing I will say is we will be I was thinking of sending a rover to Duna and not just any rover but the rover I sent to the moon, my mobile moon base, which if you guys haven't seen that, go and check out the video or whatever if you want to just see what it looked like or whatever. Uh, amazing. It just That thing was like a hundred ton rover. So I don't know exactly how I would get that into orbit, or at least to Duna, but I'll have to figure something out. So it definitely sounds like a plan but I really am unsure on how everything would work out in the end let's see get this thing in orbit so I will be launching a, another one of these trust pieces here very shortly and uh, I'm gonna kind of spread out the launches with certain ones as far as what I'm going to launch and just about everything else I, I really don't know exactly everything that I want to send there so I do know that we do need some parts for the station. I don't know how many parts I'm going to send. I'm thinking somewhere around maybe, let's see, do the lights, how do the lights work? Perfect, That that is absolutely perfect. I'm thinking the two truss pieces are a given. Uh, there's gonna be probably about two or three modules that I launch to the station. I don't wanna really send any fuel and stuff like that. I might send maybe a few small fuel tanks, like a docking station, something like that, and maybe a uh, a few Coppola modules or something like that, along with, I want to send a Duna Far Orbiter, so then we can see, or at least for me, I can have an idea on how far the set of influence is. Kind of like how I have this one with Kerbin here. You can see this Far Orbit satellite. This is basically as far out as you can possibly get before it's basically le leaving the site of influence of Kerbin. And I think having something like this is really valuable and it helps out with certain things. And you, you can kind of get an idea on basically uh, just kind of how far out you need to go or, you know, how far out you can build. Like, Because I can put something in orbit way out here and that would be pretty awesome. But, you know, it, it's just stuff like that. So... Anyways, guys, uh, if you like what you see here, subscribe. There's always more to come to all you new people. Welcome. And, uh, yeah, I will see you next time.